What's going on everybody? My name is Tavian and this is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. Um, this is going to be a Bluetooth tutorial. I'm going to show you how to disable and enab enable Bluetooth. Uh, just so you know, I'm doing a voiceover right now, so I don't really know where the video is at because I accidentally recorded it with my mic muted. So I'm going to try and do a 9 minute voiceover here. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's where I make the button. This button is just a simple standard button. It's just going to go on and off so we can turn the Bluetooth on and off. Um, stick our tag up there. I think here I'm going to make the Bluetooth adapter. Yeah, just so I'm just making the global Bluetooth adapter first thing we need to do. Let's see what I do next. I think I'm going to make the button. Yeah, so let's initialize the button. No big deal. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to uh, get the default adapter. Uh, I, um, I made a mistake here. This you actually don't need to use new. It's just going to be uh, Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter. Yep. And now I'm derping again because those two brackets should not be there. Takes me a second to figure that out. Come on, delete the brackets. There we go. And get default adapter. Okay. So now our Bluetooth object is our Bluetooth adapter object is initialized. And I'm just reminding you here to stick in the permissions. You don't actually need all these permissions. You just need the two that I'm highlighting right here for this tutorial. But it doesn't hurt just to throw them all in. Because in my later tutorials um, for Bluetooth, you're going to need them. Here's the Bluetooth documentation. And I think I'm going to start writing the code now. Um, okay, so setting our onclick listener for the button. And we're just going to create one method in here it's going to be uh, enable disable Bluetooth. So like I said before, this is a simple application. Just going to click the button. If Bluetooth's off, it'll turn on. Click the button again. If Bluetooth is on, it will turn off. So now I'm creating that uh, method here. Our enable disable Bluetooth method. And there's going to be three, three possible scenarios here. Uh, the first one, if Bluetooth adapter is null, so equals null, that means um, your device cannot use Bluetooth. So we're just going to log that. So it's not capable of using Bluetooth, basically. Our second scenario is if our Bluetooth adapter is not enabled, so it's currently not enabled, and you hit the button, you're going to want to enable it. So we'll our stick our exclamation mark at the front there. So if it's not enabled, we're going to use an intent to enable it. <coughs> We'll call it enable intent. It'll equal new intent uh, Bluetooth adapter, and we're going to pass it uh, action request enable, and then we start activity. So, in um, you can use start activity or start activity for result. I I prefer to use broadcast receivers. I think they're just better for logging. They're just overall better and uh, easier to see what you're doing with. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So we're going to create an intent filter, and this is going to be uh, a, f a filter that in that intercepts changes to your Bluetooth status, and it will log them, which is awesome, I think. So our blue we're going to send past the Bluetooth adapter the action state changed. Uh, so this is going to get caught by a broadcast receiver, which I'm going to write a uh, method for in a moment here. And it will, it will, it's going to catch the state changes of the Bluetooth. So, like when we send it, the action request enable, that's a state change, and uh, the intent filter will catch, or sorry, the broadcast receiver will catch that state change and it will log it. Um, not sure what I'm saying at this point. I think I just said it all. Yeah, I'm just telling, telling you what it does. Okay. So, third situation is if the Bluetooth is already enabled, we're going to want to disable Bluetooth. So if Bluetooth adapter is enabled, uh, we just call uh, Bluetooth adapter dot disable. So Bluetooth adapter dot disable, nice and easy. And then we're also going to need an intent filter here to catch the state change once again. So we can just copy that same line and throw that in there. Cool. We're done. Now we're going to go grab the uh, on checking my video. Maybe see if I was smart I would have realized that the sound isn't on. Okay so we're gonna go grab our broadcast receiver template here. You can find it on the Android. Um, it's 
developer documentation with Bluetooth. Okay, here's our Bluetooth or our broadcast receiver template. Let's grab that. Because less typing is nice. And we'll just stick it up there. And there's a lot of stuff we can get rid of, so we're not listing any paired devices or anything, so we're gonna get rid of that array adapter. Uh, we're not doing anything with Bluetooth devices at this point, so we're going to get rid of that Bluetooth device. And then also we're going to get rid of that Bluetooth device in oops, excuse me, in the uh, if statement there. So what we do need to put in the if statement is we need to catch that action state changed uh, request that we sent uh, with the intent and the activity inside of the method below. So if action equals Bluetooth adapter dot action state changed, then we're going to do some stuff. And if you saw there too, I changed the name to Bluetooth receiver one. So yeah, here we go. We have our uh, intent. Uh, I didn't stay there long enough to explain it. Oh well. So we're going to have a couple cases here. We're going to have uh, define an integer that uh, defines the state, and we're going to get that from the intent which is passed as an extra through the uh, start activity or sorry through the um, intent filter the broadcast receiver so we get that extra that's just for the error if there's an error so now we're going to do a switch statement with the state and there's going to be four possible cases for this there's going to be um, state turning on state on state turning off and state off so that's why this broadcast receiver is so powerful. It's awesome because it will catch every state change to the Bluetooth. So I'm gonna, I'm, if I click that button, it's gonna say, "Okay, state turning on." Once that's, once it's done turning on, it will say "state on." Cool. If I click it again, it'll say "state turning off," as if the state change is in progress. And then finally, it will say, "Okay, it's complete and the state is off." And I'll show you an example of that pretty soon here when I run it. And the last thing we want to put is we want to insert our on destroy method here so that our broadcast receiver gets closed when the application is uh, paused or destroyed. <coughs> At this point, I think I'm going to run it. I think. Because we are done. Oh, I'm going to throw in some logs. That's smart. Can never have enough logs. So yeah, sure, let's throw one in there. That will tell us when we're clicking our button. And unfortunately, the emulator doesn't have Bluetooth capability. That's why I'm logging so much. I'm going to run it on my device. I'm going to have the log open so we can see uh, the changes to Bluetooth in the log. Almost done. I think that's the last one. OK, running it. <coughs> Shouldn't take long because I already had it running earlier. Okay. All right. So you can see here it doesn't say anything. Now I think I'm going to click the button. Click. The, there we go. So you can see state. The, my Bluetooth was already on. So it says state turning off, then state off. Okay. Now I'm going to click the button again. There we go. It says enabling Bluetooth. Oh yeah. So at this point I forgot I need on the device I need to click allow. So right now I should click it in a second. Yeah, see, I'm like, oh, something's wrong, but I just didn't click the button because it, pr it a prompt popped up on my device asking me to enable Bluetooth. I think I'm going to click it right now. Come on. There we go. So I clicked allow, and it said state turning on, and the state turned on. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing more Bluetooth tutorials. Uh, hopefully you find them helpful. I know there was a lack of documentation out there. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.